Hey, what's up guys? It's Nigel here, and today I want to talk about what games will come after the big three fighting games, which is Street Fighter 6, Mortal Kombat 1, and Tekken 8. Now, I know we don't know when Tekken 8 comes out, but my assumption would be that it'll be coming out either at the end of the year in December or in like January, February. The reason why I say that is because MK1 comes out in August 19th, so... I would say it, you don't want to be crossing lines with that dude. Like th these are the big three fighting games. So you don't want them crossing lines, making your friends decide how they should spend their money of a $70 game. Cause all of these games are going to be $70 most likely. So I don't think you want to do that for your fans. So that's what I'm saying next year in either February or it'll be, um, this year in December with, you know, with a three month gap, essentially, which is perfectly fine for a game. It'll be healthy. Now, like, like the whole video is about, you know, what, what will come after all these games. Now, essentially, I think what, what the next big, big game would be, I think it would be actually Virtual Fighters 6 because there's been speculation and rumors. People have been talking behind the scenes like, oh, yeah, this big fighting game is going to be coming out. And I remember Harada, he had a video like his Harada Bars video. I think I brought this up before that he was talking about some game that he doesn't want to clash with. I'm not sure if he was talking about MK, like uh, another one was giving the heads up like, hey, this, this game's coming out in this time period, or it could be Virtual Fighter. Because we did get a pretty much a teaser that it's happening, so I would think that would be the next game that they would show next year, and it would come out in 2024. Now, they could show it actually e during either EVO, which I think that would be a great place. People will be excited. Airbug Blood is pumping. I already to see other trailers. And that's where we'll get mainly DLC stuff for uh, Street Fighter 6 and probably like uh, more like a preview thing for MK or something, somewhere around those lines or whatever. And either a um, Tekken 8 trailer for a character or story or something. So that'd be a great time to also advocate like, hey, our game's coming out. So yeah, I think that's when we can expect to see that because there is... Um, a few games also come out that are fighting games that are coming out in 2023 that are you know, not the big three. I think one of them is Grand Blue versus Rising because it said it was 2023, so I'm not sure when. It'd probably be like October or something for that update because it's kind of like a big overhaul update thing. That'd be the best guess in my opinion. But yeah, that's that's all I can see for 2024 for right now. Maybe Project L possibly. I think they said it could be done in 2024. And it's going to be free to play. So that will be a good decision, a choice to play as well. And another arena game that you could play too. I think they would bring that back, which would be Multiverses. I could definitely see that coming back because they're kind of in their own hiatus phase trying to polish the game, fix it up. Because they took all the feedback because the game was not, it was kind of dying. So it's because it wasn't, well, to be fair, it wasn't fully released. But it, it, it's good that they did that. So, you know, they can get the feedback and then they can create the best game they can possibly. So... That's fine. So that those will be the games of next year. Tech and possibly, like I said, Virtual Fighters, I can see that happening. Uh, Project L and Multiverses. And a few, you know, sprinkles of other random games that you can know and you can see that are happening from other studios or indie studios or whatever, you know. Now, there could be a chance for a big, big game. And this we're all only talking about 2D and 3D, by the way. So I'm not counting Budokai. It's to mention that in this video. But there could be one big game that could come out from Arc System's work because Arc System work has been tackling just other games in the field for a, a big period of time right now. You know, they're still working on Guilty Gear deal. Well, no, actually, no, they just finished with Asta. But, you know, they're doing Grand Blue Rising, which is, I think that's a different team. Might be B team, but still, they're still doing stuff. Now, there has been like rumors talking about a new anime fighting game as big, like Fighter Z, that could they, you know, make. And I believe it they were either talking about Naruto or One Piece. I think it would definitely be Naruto only because Naruto has not had a fighting game like a traditional fighting game ever. It's only had, you know, the um, arena fighters, which would be, you know, Storm series, Class of Ninja, and um, the, the original Storm, which I guess was technically 2D, but, you know, it's not a traditional fighter or whatever. But that's kind of really it for Naruto when it comes to those types of games. So it would be amazing to see that. And the only reason why I say not One Piece because, you know, the characters in that game are pretty big. They're, they're really tall. Hitbox would work properly. I mean, just look at Big Mom. Look at Cat Curie. Nine feet tall characters. No, that they would get fuzzy like crazy. Like, no, 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 no. We're not saying that. So it's, it would definitely be Naruto. I think I can see that. And I, like I said, I think I remember them 
talking about the scene if they were to make a big fighting game. Anime wise, it would definitely be Naruto. That makes the most sense to me. And I can see Arc System work, like working behind the scenes, not saying anything yet, just cooking it up, seeing if they can do it or whatever or whatnot, and making the game as we speak right now because they don't really have anything big coming up. They're done with Guilty Gear Strive DLC and there is going to be season three. They pretty much confirmed that. But, you know, what What else? You know, you have Grand Blue. Uh, I think they're done with Blaze Blue, I believe. I think. So, wh what else do they have? You know, they got to they gotta keep making that money. And their biggest game, which is Dragon, Dragon Ball Fighters, they don't... I mean, they're updating it to get rollback, but that's going to take some time. So, I would imagine, like, the main team would be working on um, a new IP at this point, in my opinion. And I, I guess I technically could say the same thing for Capcom because the fighting game division is really finally back because Street Fighter 6. So I can definitely see us getting another fighting game, but that might take maybe two years to come out or something though. Like Marvel's Capcom 4 or something. Uh, we, we ain't getting Dog Stalker sad. I don't think this is going to happen, but that's what I can see for um, the fighting game division, at least right now, is we're getting a big anime fighting game. For sure or a um like i said a capcom fighting game but there's still other capcom ips that come out you know we haven't got devil may cry in a while you know like a sparta game or six or whatever they wanted to do uh i forget that one game promare i forget what's called something with a p it has not been shown at all this year practically because they, they were like holding back on it they got pushed back so a lot of a lot of things could happen next year to uh 2025 I'm hoping for the best, honestly. I hope it's not a drought because some I remember the droughts when there were like no fighting games for a minute and I'm just sitting like, dude, there's nothing to play. Even though there was, but it was just like niche or some games were not good. Like Dead or Alive 6 was not good. So I, I was like, uh, well, I guess I'll go um, play some more MK11, even though MK11 game for was like, okay. But, you know, uh, it, it just was not a good time a little bit. Like there was, there was definitely games out there, but nothing that everybody knew you know what i mean like a triple a big big game that was like oh I'm, I'm so excited to play this game at least that was successful so uh i don't, I don't know hope that doesn't happen i mean because we are getting a whole bunch of crazy fighting games coming out now like the big three and obviously they're still gonna get support you know like mk1 is probably gonna get support for two years maybe three if they if they're really pushing it i don't see that happening though and uh street fighter 6 <sighs> We ain't gonna see Street Fighter 7 until like 2030, bro. It's it's gonna be a long time. And uh, Tekken 8, actually kind of the same thing, like 2030, dude. So that's where I can see that happening. And MK, we'll, we'll get a game like 20, 20, like seven, maybe uh, something like that. I can see like an MK or an Injustice or what people been wanting, DC versus Marvel. That's that's like the range of when I can see something, but. I definitely think we're gonna get a big anime fighter coming soon for next year. That's that's this, these are just my predictions though. You can you can disagree with them if you want to or whatever. If you have your own thing, just let me know. But uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope it wasn't too long. Um, just wanted to talk about this because I think it's an interesting thing to talk about because we're all excited. You know, not 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 necessarily the honeymoon phase is kicking, but you know the proposal phase is kicking. Like we're we're getting married to these games. We're gonna have a great time. But what what's gonna be after? What about the kids? You know. <laughs> You gotta think about that, so. But I hope you guys have a good, great day and night, or whatever time period you guys live at, man. And I will see you guys next time.